Hey, lords and ladies, boys and girls, it is time for the monthly wrap up. Also, I got a new light in here and I'm thinking I may need to change the colors because I'm looking a little red, but we'll worry about that later. Big announcements for next month, but first, let's go ahead and wrap up this month. What did we read? I felt like we read more than we actually finished, but that's because I kept switching between books back and forth. It's a problem. I know I've got a problem. So what did I finish up last month? I, I finished up Grave Peril by Jim Butcher, book three in the Dresden Files. Still thoroughly enjoying that one. Four stars. I've got the stuff out on Goodreads. You know where to check it out. Don't remember if I did a video for this one. Um, I'm thinking as I get more and more deeper into series, I'll probably do less video reviews. I don't think we need a video review of all like 25 Dresden novels. I may change my mind. We'll see how it goes. Uh, comments if you want, if you still want me to do the whole series. Otherwise, like I said, it is out in Goodreads. Uh, I also finished up Adrian Tchaikovsky's Alien Clay because, of course, there, were, there was something else last month that happened besides just reading. We'll get to that in a second. So Alien Clay, another four-star read. Liked that one. Not totally in my wheelhouse, but good enough that it still got four stars out of me. And... Probably a four star from a, a, a type of book that I don't normally read. Might be a five star for somebody who actually is into that genre. And then I also, another four star, Graveyard Shift by M.L. Rio. That one was super, super short. Uh, I know I did a video review for that one be because I had to uh, <laughs> put in comments later to fix some of my... <laughs> Fix some of my inaccuracies, but that's actually another good one coming up for October as well. Uh, in fact, I don't remember when that one drops. I think it actually dropped at the end of the month. So really that's all I did finish reading, um, which is kind of surprising. Oh, I take that back. If you want to count the comic books, I also did reviews on the new Wolverine series that just came out for 2024 and the new Exceptional X-Men. Both of those are out there as well. So I snuck a couple of comics in, uh, but I did get deeper into Son of Thunder. Still haven't finished it. I got, I started, but have not finished the courting of Bristol Keats. And then I also, uh, I'm over halfway through Service Model by Adrian Tchaikovsky. We'll see how it ends up. That, that may be my next five star. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. So what's the other big thing that we'd had last month? Of course, we did the author interview with Adrian Tchaikovsky, who was an absolute blast to talk to. Check that out if you haven't seen it already. Obviously, I do like doing the book reviews, but this channel was started on author interviews. That's still that's still the fit, my favorite thing to do, and I try to get in one a month. I, I never quite seem to get it exactly one a month in, but uh, yeah, I think we're on our... I think we've got like 21 or 22 author interviews up on the channel now. I uh, started this a couple years ago, so I'm pretty close. Pretty close. Which brings us to what we're doing next month. Do I have another author interview? Of course I have another author interview. That, that's what we do here. Uh, in fact, it's just a couple days away. October 2nd at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. I meant to bring that up. 99% sure that's right. Uh, I am talking to Josh Mellerman. That is going to be live here on the channel. Uh, also going to be on Twitch. I, I multi-stream my author interviews, so feel free to check it out wherever you like to do your live streaming. And uh, yeah, and because it is spooky season, don't know if it'll be live. Parts of it are definitely not going to be live, but I will have a video coming up in the next week or two. Uh, with some Halloween recommendations for you. Those of you who may not read horror every single month of the year, but you do like that little spooky read for Halloween. Going to have some uh, suggestions there, and these are not going to be my suggestions. I'm having some horror authors uh, hop on. Some of them might not be able to make it. They've sent me some suggestions. Other ones we're going to have videos of. And then uh, I've got one that I might... Uh, See if he's willing to do a live with me and maybe co-host it. But you'll be getting Halloween, Halloween recommendations from actual horror authors. I thought that'd be fun. We'll see how it goes. And then coming up at the very end of the month, we're going to have our first interview with an actual booktuber here on the channel. And it is going to be 
one half of Talking Stories Tease and Tingle. John Chris Tingleminton is going to be on here. We don't know if that name will stick or, or whether he'll kill us or cancel because we just made that up. But if, if you saw, if, if you if you watched his uh, weekly reader for this weekend, you'll know where that came from. Check my comments in the uh, in his section. But yeah, John Men's going to be on. He is probably, uh, and I'm not blowing smoke, uh, he is probably my favorite YouTuber when it comes to doing booktube. The interaction between him and his son is hilarious. Uh, it, it, they, they get a little snarky, but they also seem to have a blast doing it. I love those two guys. And John's going to be on the channel. And, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see where it goes from there. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be my, my first interview with somebody who's not an author. But it's still book related. So I think it counts. Book adjacent. Booktubers. I haven't thought of a good name with it. I thought of something, you know, originally when I thought about doing this, I was going to go with like talking with tubers or something, but I think I saw somebody already took that. So if you have a comment for conversations with booktubers, go ahead and drop that in. None of the rest of mine are all that great. Let's face it, you know, uh, interviews with Grifton and book reviews by Grifton. The, the only thing that I've got that's got any sort of name behind it is the Comic reviews are all listed under as TLDR, Too Long Didn't Read. Uh, kind of as a joke that, you know, a comic book at 30 pages, I, I still tried to give you the uh, short synopsis of it. It says 30 pages is too long. So, yeah, this is, this is the kind of humor you get here. Which explains why most of you should be over there watching uh, John and Jacob. <laughs> yeah, we still haven't gotten Jingleheimer Smith on the channel. Uh, I'm trying to see if Amy will change her name to that. It's not looking good. All right. So I know monthly wraps up sh should be longer, but I really only knocked out three books and I'm, I'm just, I'm just excited for next month. I've got, uh, you know, we'll see what we get finished. Hopefully we get some more reads done. Uh, but I've got three other, uh, videos coming up that I'm really excited about. Mallerman, Minton, and, you know, Halloween Rex, which is going to have some of my favorite, uh, horror authors. If, uh, if not in person, then then at least via email, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what they think you should read. So, check it out. Hope you guys have a good month. Hope you have some five star reads. Didn't have any five star reads last month, but I got three four star reads, so I'm not going to complain. Especially as stingy as I am with five stars, you know. Some of you may have found some of those books five stars. I wouldn't argue with you. All right, have a good one, guys.